what we have here is the train had to be Mr. Bonlao said the anonymous donation was sent to assist in the treatment of the fire victim after watching the news report. A kind-hearted Nigerian who does not want his identity to be known made this donation, made this contribution towards the medical upkeep of your child that is re receiving treatment now at the UBTH. We just hope that more Nigerians will show mercy on that child. We wish you all the best. Grandparents of the little boy who suffered severe burns, Pastor and Evangelist Nosa Omorodion, appreciated the gesture. I want to appreciate God who have blessed us with ITV. I want to also appreciate the good, this uh, good spirited Nigerians who have showed us mercy at this time of our predicaments. I see believing God for more, for our assistance. Because right away the, the child is on blood transmission. GBTH. Today I spend no less than 10,000 because I have to run down to the hospital with a little baby in my with the baby the mother car. That baby was just five months old. So I do this run every day. And I'm even thinking how to go home now to pick the baby to take to the mother in, at UBTH after breastfeeding. I'll bring the baby home again. Commenting on the health condition of Martins Denisi. A consultant bond surgeon, University of Benin Teaching Hospital, Dr. Philip Osho said there is hope of survival for the patient. He pointed out that due to the impact of the inferno, the victim is still on oxygen as over 2 million naira will be required to carry out a series of tests and surgeries. We've been able to give him a unit of blood now. It is just awaiting to be properly stabilized. About 1.5 million should be able to go far. All donations to the fire victim, Martins Denisi, should be channeled to the corporate headquarters of ITV and radio on Airport Road, Benin City. Donations will be duly acknowledged. Kingsley Uchebu reporting.